Hello, today I'm doing this Excel tutorial and we're going to find out how much Batman owns really quickly. I'm just going to draw the Batman because I think that will help people concentrate. Although it actually might be counterproductive, but anyway, here we go. So, uh, copy, paste, 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 and probably I'm going to clear that really quick and I'm not sure if that even looks like him but okay once I clear that it will look more like him and I guess you could say that it looks a bit more like him now should probably clear that and give actually okay those are his eyes and we're going to give him a mouth really quickly even though I kind of screwed it up but here we go so here's a Batman kind of like one not really but anyway okay so how much does he own well uh, change the font so everyone can see it a bit better but anyway let's put in some data so how much is his car worth how much is his house worth uh... might need to enlarge the font a bit and uh... how much he earns in equipment and how much he has in the bank and then we'll put a total and just pump up the font size really quickly to something you can read and one thing you can do is you can auto fit column width and that makes everything a lot easier to read you go to format and I just did it there so before you start putting stuff in there you'll want to set it so that it shows up in money so you go to general and see that thing there and then you go to accounting or you can go to currency a bit it doesn't really matter so how much is this car worth let's say uh, 200,000 Okay, might need to enlarge a bit, so uh, just auto fit it in later on, but just hold on. So he's got a $5 million house, I reckon, and he has two cents in gear, and probably 50 billion, something like that in the bank and okay let's just fix that up with the auto fit and the total will be something crazy so we can't calculate that now can we well obviously you can but here's a simpler way to do it okay so you go to total formulas auto sum and yeah you can kind of select which one you want to show up in the total and then you press enter and there we have it. He has fifty-five million two hundred thousand and two cents in money. And that's how you do the auto sum thing. Now, wh what we're gonna go on to n next is we're, we can probably graph this. So we'll just go to the insert line, or should we do a bar graph? we we'll just go with the line graph really quick and that's the data and you can kind of mess around with the font you can select the data range as you can see and uh, it's called series one oops well we have to put in some data now again because I accidentally deleted the data but we're going to call it how much does Batman own or oh, well, we just click on that one and as you can see the, the title popped up there and it helps a lot to understand the graph and as you can see it looks kind of cool but you can actually make it look better well let's give it a texture here so now it's funny and wooden or you can change it 
just looks different when you edit it and there's our graph and one more thing I was gonna do okay so another handy thing you can do so you don't make typos is data validation so basically you type in a bunch of people's names uh, John uh, Mark uh, Sean uh, Bob uh, type in a girl's name or something because I'm not sexist or anything like that and we can put in the hair color favorite color and eye color and basically we can kind of make a list so we'll go up here and so we'll type a list so blue eyes maybe black eyes uh, blonde hair brown eyes or hair wait a minute I'm not even sure if I spelled that correctly but anyway uh, you can put that in the list and you, mm, hopefully you don't make mistakes because it helps you make less mistakes so you highlight that area data validation list and you can select a source just by selecting it like that and if you want to select other sources you hold down control but to keep your sources but that's not really less necessary in this case so we'll just highlight it and you can hair color well I'm gonna say John has blue hair this person has black hair and I don't even know what I'm doing but uh... here we go <laughs> so their favorite color forgot to put it in there make me look a bit more stupid but anyway auto fit really quickly and you can do that with validation again and this actually we're gonna take a shortcut and just paste everything here and then you can correct that if you feel like it I can't, I forgot green eyes and all that but it's okay it's okay and that kind of helps a list really forgot to put all the colors in but anyway that, that's how you do the data validation and that hope you guys found this useful probably was a bit confusing but anyway have fun.